We begin our journey into the mind-bending realm of simulated reality, a concept that straddles the line between the tangible and the abstract, the real and the unreal. Let's take a moment to consider. We live in a world where our senses guide us, where touch, sight, smell, sound and taste construct our perception of reality. But what if this reality, as we know it, is nothing more than an elaborate illusion, a digital mirage of sorts? This is not a new question. Philosophers and scientists alike have grappled with this concept for centuries, with the debate gaining renewed vigor in the age of advanced computing and virtual reality. The Dolores Cannon mentions that he world around us is energy and vibration, and we can influence or impact our perceived reality. But does that make us a main protagonist in this reality? Well, imagine, if you will, a world where everything you see, feel, and experience is part of an intricately designed simulation, a world where you exist not as a flesh and blood being, but as a cluster of data points, a string of code in an immensely complex program. It's like peering into an alternate reality, a mirror image of our own world, yet fundamentally different. Now let's take this thought experiment a step further. If this is indeed a simulation, then who's to say that you are not the central character in it, the protagonist of this grand narrative? After all, every story needs a hero, every tale needs a main lead. And perhaps, just perhaps, that lead is you. Consider your life as a narrative, woven intricately with threads of experiences and incidents. Each thread, each moment, each breath, all part of a grand cosmic tapestry. A script, unseen and unsaid, guiding your path through the vast expanse of existence. Now imagine that this script isn't a mere metaphor, but a literal code, a programmed reality. Every interaction, every event, every emotion, all predestined in this grand design. The laughter at a shared joke, the tears at a heartfelt loss, the thrill of a first kiss, even the mundane moments, all written into the code of your life. But what if the script isn't flawless? What if there are glitches in the system, anomalies that defy explanation? A deja vu that lasts a little too long, a coincidence that's too perfect to be random, a dream that feels too real. These could be signs, red flags raised by your consciousness trying to make sense of this simulated narrative. Could it be that we are living in a world of code, a world of ones and zeros? The concept might seem outlandish, even absurd, yet it's a theory that's gaining traction, an idea that's being explored by scientists, philosophers and thinkers alike. In a world that's increasingly digital, the idea of a simulated reality doesn't seem too far-fetched. After all, we're already creating virtual realities, artificial intelligences, and digital personas. Could it be that we're simply players in a grander game, protagonists in a far more complex narrative? It's a thought that leaves us with more questions than answers. Are we free to choose our path, or are we merely following a predestined script? Are our experiences genuine, or are they programmed responses to programmed stimuli? And perhaps the most intriguing question of all, if this is a simulation, who's behind it? Signs of a protagonist. Every story revolves around its protagonist, and in a simulated reality, there are signs to identify this central figure. The protagonist could be anyone, even you. But how would you know? What signs might indicate that you're not merely an extra, but the leading role in this grand narrative? One of the most profound signs is a heightened sense of purpose or destiny. You might feel as if you're meant to accomplish something significant, something beyond the ordinary. But it's not just about the everyday tasks we all perform. It's a purpose that seems to resonate with the very core of your being, a mission that feels like it was tailor-made just for you. Frequent occurrences of deja vu could also indicate your protagonist status. That uncanny feeling when you're certain you've experienced a particular moment before, but can't pinpoint when or where. 
In a simulated reality, déjà vu could be a glitch, a repetition in the code, or perhaps it's a breadcrumb left by the programmers, a hint that you are on the right track. There's also the feeling of being watched or guided. It's not a paranoid, big brother is watching kind of way, but a sense that there's an unseen hand gently nudging you towards certain paths and away from others. This could be the subtle influence of the simulation's architects, steering their protagonist towards the climax of their story. But that's not all. There are more signs. Unusual coincidences or synchronicities might be a hint. A series of events that seem unrelated, yet fit together perfectly. Another sign could be a strong sense of intuition or foresight. You might find yourself predicting events before they happen, or knowing things you shouldn't logically know. You might also feel different or out of place, as if you don't quite belong to the world around you. This could indicate that you're not just any character in this simulation, but the main character. A strong drive to achieve a specific goal or purpose could also be a sign. You might have a burning desire to accomplish something, a drive that goes beyond mere ambition. Last, but certainly not least, is a sense of having a mission or destiny that is bigger than oneself. You might feel a call to something greater, a purpose that extends beyond just your own life. These signs aren't definitive, of course. They're not a neon sign flashing, you're the protagonist. But if you've noticed these patterns in your life, if you've felt these subtle nudges and uncanny echoes, then perhaps it's time to entertain the possibility. Remember, in the grand tapestry of a simulated reality, every thread is essential, but some are woven with a purpose that drives the narrative forward. If you're feeling a pull towards something bigger, something beyond the ordinary, then maybe, just maybe, you're that thread. These signs might point to you being the protagonist in your own simulated reality. Imagine a path winding and twisting through the unknown. This is the protagonist's journey, a trek that is far from linear. There are hills to climb, valleys to cross, and sometimes the road may even disappear entirely. But it's these trials and tribulations that shape the protagonist that mold them into the beacon of resilience they are destined to become. In the grand scheme of the simulation, the protagonist must face challenges, some seemingly insurmountable. They may encounter formidable adversaries or face personal trials that test their mettle. But it's in these moments, when the odds seem stacked against them, that the protagonist truly shines. They rise, they conquer, they triumph. Each victory, each conquered fear, each vanquished foe only serves to strengthen them, to fortify their resolve. But the journey isn't just about overcoming obstacles. It's also about growth, about evolution. With each step they take, each decision they make, they're learning, they're evolving. They're not just navigating through the simulation, they're becoming a part of it, integrating themselves into its very fabric. And it's not a solitary journey. Along the way, the protagonist will meet allies, kindred spirits who share their quest. These companions offer support, guidance, and sometimes a mirror into the protagonist's own soul. The bonds they form, the relationships they cultivate, these two are an integral part of the protagonist's journey. Through it all, the protagonist remains steadfast, their eyes firmly fixed on their goal, because they know that their journey, their struggles, their triumphs are not just for them, they're for the simulation, for the world they're a part of. Their journey is a testament to their significance within the simulation, a reminder that they are not merely a pawn, but a player, a catalyst for change. The protagonist's journey is a testament to their significance within the simulation. Your existence. This is where we broach the crux of the matter. You see, coming to terms with the idea that you might be the main character in a cosmic simulation isn't as daunting as it sounds. It's about perspective. It's about understanding that even within the confines of a simulation, you are not a puppet on strings. 
You are a sentient being, capable of making choices, capable of shaping your narrative. Being the protagonist in this grand simulation does not diminish your existence, but rather, it amplifies it. It allows you to visualize life as an elaborate story, where every choice you make, every path you choose, adds another layer to the narrative. As Dolores Cannon suggests, you are the creator of your reality. You are not an extra in someone else's story. You are not a bystander in your own life. You are the hero, the villain, the supporting character, all rolled into one. Once you've accepted this, the next step is exploration. Push the boundaries of your reality. Question the script. Challenge the parameters. Find the messages and exploit them. This is your reality, your simulation. It's up to you to discover its limits and its possibilities. Finally, embrace the journey. Life, simulated or not, is a journey. It's a series of events, experiences and encounters that shape who you are and what your story becomes. So, embrace it. Embrace the uncertainty, the unpredictability, the joy, the sorrow, the triumph, and the defeat. Embrace every moment, every choice, every consequence. Remember, the universe is not against you, it is for you. With this quote in mind, we wish you a wonderful day and thank you for watching Vividus Channel.